Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and hi everyone. Today we discuss topic 1 differentiation. Now we discuss lecture 6 of 6. Maximum and minimum. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define the stationary points, classify the type of the stationary points using the second derivative test and determine the local maximum and minimum point using the second derivative test. Stationary points or critical point. The critical point to a given function y equal to fx are defined when dy dx equal to 0 or f prime x is equal to 0. There are three types of critical point, namely the maximum point, the minimum point and the point of inflection. Consider the graph. First, maximum point. Second, minimum point. And the third and the fourth is a inflection point. Next, consider the two graphs, first and the second. Now, we focus at point A. Point A is a relative or local maximum point. Point B is called point of inflection. And point C we call a relative or local minimum point. Stationary points are the point when the tangent to the curve is horizontal and the gradient of the curve is zero. Therefore, the stationary points at point A and point C only. Maximum and minimum by using the first derivative test. We consider if dy dx equal to 0 of the point hk on the curve y equal to fx, then the point hk is a maximum point if dy dx greater than 0 or positive for x less than h and dy dx less than 0 for x more than k. The conclusion is from this table. Dy dx change from positive to negative. Then the point is a maximum. Next. The point is minimum if dy dx less than 0 or negative for x less than h and dy dx more than 0 or positive for x more than k. Then, the conclusion is gradient or dy dx change from negative to positive. Then, the point is minimum. Next, we consider the point of inflection if dy dx more than 0 or positive for x less than h and dy dx also positive or greater than 0 for x greater than k. The conclusion is the gradient or dy dx not change. Then the point is inflection. Or the point also inflection if dy dx less than 0 negative for x less than h and dy dx less than 0 negative for x greater than k and the gradient also not change therefore the point is inflection 
For example 1, given fx is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. Find the stationary point of the curve and determine their nature by using first derivative test. First step, find f prime x. We have 2x minus 6. Then, to find the stationary point, f prime x is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 6 equal to 0, 2x equal to 6, and x equal to 3. Then, when x equal to 3, y or fx equal to 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8, we have negative 1. And we write the sessionary point is 3, negative 1. Then, to determine the nature, by using the first derivative test, we construct the table. The first row is interval of x and the second row is the sign of f prime x. The middle when x equal to 3, the left hand side when x less than 3, and the right hand side x more than 3. Then we try to substitute. When x less than 3, we write x equal to 2. And when x greater than 3, we write x equal to 4. Next, substitute the value of x in f prime x. We have 2 times 2 minus 6 is equal to negative 2, less than 0. That means the sign for f prime x is negative. And when x equal to 4, f prime 4 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 6 is equal to 2, more than 0. That means the sign is positive. The sign from negative 0 change to positive. f prime x is the gradient of the curve. That means the curve from gradient negative change to positive. The conclusion is therefore at point 3 negative 1 is the minimum point. Example 2, given y equal to x cubed plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 2. Find the stationary point of the curve and determine their nature by using the first derivative test. First, find dy dx. We have 3x squared plus 14x minus 5. Next, to find the stationary point, dy dx must be equal to 0. Then, 3x squared plus 14x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, we have the quadratic equation. To find the value of x, we must factorize this equation. So, we have 3x minus 1 times x plus 5. The value of x, x equal to 1 over 3 and x equal to negative 5. Next, find the value of y. When x equal to 1 over 3, we substitute in the function y equal to 1 over 3 cubed plus 7 times 1 over 3 squared minus 5 times 1 over 3 plus 2 and we have 31 over 27. Next, when x equal to negative 5, y equal to negative 5 
cube plus 7 times negative 5 squared minus 5 times negative 5 plus 2. And we have 77. Therefore, the sessionary points are 1 over 3, 31 over 27, and negative 5, 77. We have two sessionary points. From the previous slide, we have the sessionary points are negative 5, 77 and 1 over 3, 31 over 27. Now, to determine the nature by using the first derivative test, first plot the number line when x equal to negative 5 and when x equal to 1 over 3. Now, x divide by 3 part. Part 1 part 2 and part 3. Next, construct the table. First row, the interval of x and the second row is the sign of dy dx. Next, for interval of x, first x less than negative 5 and x equal to negative 5. Part 2, x more than negative 5 less than 1 over 3. Next, when x equal to 1 over 3 and the third part is x more than 1 over 3. Next, choose the suitable value of x. When x less than negative 5, we choose x equal to negative 6 x between negative 5 and 1 over 3, we choose x equal to 0. And when x more than 1 over 3, we can choose x equal to 1. Next, to find the sign of dy dx, when x equal to negative 6, dy dx is equal to 3 times negative 6 squared plus 14 times negative 6 minus 5 is equal to 19. More than 0. That means the sign is positive. Next, when x is equal to 0, dy dx is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 5 is equal to negative 5 less than 0. The sign is negative. Next, when x is equal to 1, dy dx is equal to 3 plus 14 minus 5 is equal to 12. More than 0. That means the sign is positive. At negative 5, dy dx is 0 and x 1 over 3, dy dx is 0. From this, the gradient of dy dx, we have the curve. Gradient from negative change to gradient from positive change to negative and then change to positive. That means we have two points on the curve. Therefore, the conclusion is at point negative 5, 77 is the maximum. And at point 1 over 3, 31 over 27 
is the minimum. Next, methods to determine the nature of the sessionary point or critical point by using second derivative test. Find the sessionary points and evaluate d to y dx squared or f double prime x of the sessionary point. Now, we consider sine of d to y dx squared, nature of extremum and concavity. First, when d to y dx squared more than zero or positive, the point is minimum and the function is concave upward the second d to y dx squared less than zero or the sign is negative the point is maximum and the graph is concave downward next when d to y dx squared equal to zero we call the test fail Therefore, the first derivative test must be used to determine the nature of the point. For example 3, determine the stationary points on the curve given y equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 1 by using the second derivative test. First, find dy dx. We have... 12x squared plus 6x minus 6. To find the sessionary point, dy dx must be equal to 0. So, we have 12x squared plus 6x minus 6 is equal to 0. And we divide the equation by 6. We have 2x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. We have quadratic equation. Next, factorize this equation. We have 2x minus 1 times x plus 1. The value of x is 1 over 2 and negative 1. Next, to find the value of y when x equal to 1 over 2 y equal to 4 times 1 over 2 power 3 plus 3 times 1 over 2 squared minus 6 times 1 over 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 11 over 4 x when x is equal to negative 1 y equal to 4 times negative 1 power 3 plus 3 times negative 1 squared minus 6 times negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 4 therefore the sessionary points are 1 over 2 negative 11 over 4 and negative 1 4 From the previous slide, we have dy dx equal to 12x squared plus 6x minus 6 and the sessionary points are 1 over 2, negative 11 over 4 and negative 1, 4. Next, to determine the nature of the sessionary point by using the second derivative test, we find d2y dx squared. Differentiate again with respect to x. We have 24x plus 6. To test the point, 
when x equal to 1 over 2 d2y dx squared is equal to 24 times 1 over 2 plus 6 and we have 18 more than 0 when d2y dx squared is positive the point is minimum next when x equal to negative 1, d2y dx squared is equal to 24 times negative 1 plus 6, we have negative 18. Less than 0. When d2y dx squared negative, we have maximum point. Therefore, the conclusion is the minimum point. at 1 over 2 negative 11 over 4 and the maximum point at negative 1 4 example 4 Examine the following function for any stationary points. Given fx is equal to x power 4 over 4 minus 9 over 2 x squared. By using the second derivative test. First, find f prime x. We have 4x power 3 over 4 minus 9 over 2 times 2x and we have x cubed minus 9x. To find the stationary point, f prime x must be equal to 0. Then x cubed minus 9x is equal to 0. We factorize x, we have x times x squared minus 9 equal to 0 then x time differentiate x squared minus 9 we have x minus 3 time x plus 3 is equal to 0 we have 3x x equal to 0 x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 3 next to find the stationary point when x is equal to 0 we substitute in the function fx, f0, we have 0. When x equal to negative 3, f negative 3, we have negative 3 power 4 over 4 minus 9 over 2 times negative 3 squared, we have negative 81 over 4 next when x is equal to 3 f 3 we substitute 3 power 4 over 4 minus 9 over 2 times 3 squared we have negative 81 over 4 therefore the sessionary points are Zero, zero, negative three, negative eighty one over four, and the third three, negative eighty one over four. From the previous slide, we have F prime x is equal to x cubed minus 9x and the stationary points are negative 3, negative 81 over 4, 0, 0 and 3, negative 81 over 4. Now, to determine the nature of the stationary point by using the second derivative test, we find f double prime x. We have 3x squared minus 9. 
Next, when x equal to negative 3, so f double prime negative 3, we have 3 times negative 3 squared minus 9 is equal to 18, more than 0. When f double prime more than 0 or positive, that means minimum. Next, when x equal to 0, f double prime 0 is equal to 3 times 0 squared minus 9 equal to negative 9. Less than 0. That means maximum. Next, when x is equal to 3, f double prime 3 equal to substitute 3 times 3 squared minus 9 is equal to 18. More than 0. So, minimum. And, the conclusion is the maximum point at zero zero and the minimum point are Negative 3, negative 81 over 4 and 3, negative 81 over 4. For the last example, given P is a point of on the curve whose equation is 3y equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. Given the coordinate of P is to 1, show that P is not a stationary point. To show that the stationary point dy dx must equal to 0. Now, from this equation, differentiate 3y, we have 3 dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. And dy dx is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. At point P to 1, that means x is equal to 2. dy dx is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. And we have negative 1. That means dy dx not equal to 0. Therefore, shown P is not a stationary point. That's all for lecture 6 of 6. And the end of the lecture mark. Consistent study and understand the concept. There are no shortcuts in mastering maths and try your best. That's all for today. Thank you.